Hey guys, it's me, Barb. This is going to be part two of my video I just filmed, especially because I'm running out of space. So if you are looking at my today's mail call video, which will show me in a brighter room, I had the ring light on, but with the overhead, it kind of washes everything out. So while I'm sitting here, I packed up that box. I opened up my OVP. So I had the foil on top and it came in here. So, you know, I got rid of that cellophane shrink wrap. And even inside, it's shrink wrapped. So like, what in fuck's name? So this is shade four. I did promise I was going to show it to you. I just didn't feel like making you watch me struggle on screen. And then, you know, I had to watch, make you watch me struggle on screen. But here's the shade range for this. This is a little bit lighter. I don't know if this is just a hair too light for me, but it was worth trying. And if it ends up not working for me, I can sanitize it and give it to one of my girlfriends who's a little bit lighter skin than I am. And uh, she'll wear it with pride. But that wraps up post edit barb from last video let's talk about this video i am barb this is my channel b rex the pr goddess one and i sit here and talk to you usually while i'm opening my mail mail call and um you know nine times out of ten it's some sort of beauty or skincare related crap sometimes it's neither and you know we do what we can with what we've got here so let's talk about, as I'm reaching over to the pile, what we received recently. So this is yesterday's mail today now. So I took advantage of some of the clearancey stuff with like their pre-Black Friday sale at Ulta. And the first thing arrived today. The rest is coming like this weekend. And it's these wild ass lashes. I have some of the other wild ass ones from their lash drip line. And this is the lash drip line. And this is called You Do You. These are wild as they look, are probably some of the most mild ones from the collection, which I only recognize now because the other ones I have upstairs are literally, like, in my opinion, drag show type quality. Like, they, I mean, they're gorgeous, but they're huge. Like, I work in a mostly conservative, um, like, business, like, forward-facing public, uh, municipal government type place. Not exactly someplace. I mean, like if I was a back office person out there, yeah, but I'm not. So that gets a little weird for me to be the person that's out there um, wearing like giant drag lashes during a press conference with our mayor. So yeah, that's kind of sort of why I didn't do that. So the other thing I got was my one of my recent Ipsy orders because, you know, bitches be tripping and Barbara be Ipsying. I know they're like, I, I literally, 2023 is it it's over but in the meantime i had gotten some stuff on their um one of their flash sales recently because you know they're doing a lot of their special sales for holiday and so honestly like my mother's never been a real big gifting person because she didn't grow up with like a gifting like mentality since her family grew up very poor and usually had to struggle for even like basic needs food rent clothing that you know, she tried to do better for her kids and she did for a degree but really her sisters took over gifting because as a single mom her sisters were single most of my life until, you know, probably I was about six or seven. So like the first formative years, they're the ones that were crazy. They were Santa for us. And I'm not answering this call. So they were Santa for us. And I got to see how if you're single and you're working and you don't have kids, you can kind of do that. And yeah, so basically to this day, I still don't get a lot of gifts from my mom. And I know she means well, but it's like a foreign thing to her. Like she understands it, but she means well, but then she doesn't do it or she forgets or she misplaces it in the house. And in the end, I end up treating myself. So what I got was another thing of the Smith and Colt. These are the ones I got earlier. As you can tell, this is a pearlized white. This is the flat white, which is a little bit brighter. And that's the pearlized red because I have a wine red from them. I have a rose gold I have a deep, like, burgundy ox blood. So when these are on sale, I snatch them up. I have some other ones that they put out there, like a gray and, like, a metallic gunmetal with, like, glitter to it. Those are on the way. I don't care. Fuck it. I'm already in for the instrument for the mile. Then they had these Tip Beauty, um, which design is this called? They have all these different nails, and sometimes it's, like, two of them. Sometimes it's one of them. What's the name of this guy? These were supposedly Selfie and Rum and Coke. I believe Rum and Coke is the darker shade. And then this one's supposed to be Selfie. Kind of like a black with a hollow glitter to it. Very lovely. But it doesn't say it anywhere on here which ones are which. So I don't know which ones these are. Because I've gotten other ones before. But I, I, I don't remember. It's just Tip Beauty. And that'll be good enough for me. And I'm throwing them in the same boxy box from before. Because I don't care. Then, all right... These Alamar brushes had been in there for the longest, and I wanted them basically for this flatter fan shape one. 
right? Because I have brushes this shape and that shape, but this one had been calling me. I have a set of brushes like that shape from Sephora that are mermaid. They're fucking fabulous. But I don't always want to use them because they're always upstairs, like in one of my more display-ish kind of places. And I mean to get to them, but in coming and going, I don't get to. So these were 12 bucks for these three. And I don't really think that that's a great value for three brushes. But yet, you know, it is an indie brand, Alamar. Again, I want to support my women-owned companies, my women of color, be they African-American or, you know, um, you know, black-owned, because you could be Afro-something else, like Afro-Caribbean, West Indian, as we used to call it, uh, or Hispanic, like this. But as soon as I hit buy on this, they had a sale where they had this set and an eyeshadow palette for $10, whereas I paid 12 just for this. So, you know, I went back to try and grab that one. And, oh, yeah, it had to sell out. Drop the mic. Not happy. Anyway, in the meantime, because I ordered this little order of stuff, I got this guy for free. This Araceli Azteca Eyes con Agave. It's an eyeshadow duo of cacao and sun are the two colors. Very big. Like nudes for me, basically. Like it does no makeup makeup. Like if you're in a real pinch or you're going to like a real conservative interview, this. So there's those. But I got two of these, baby, because these are what it's about. And I'm glad that they finally started like sealing them up. So they had a sale where you got the full size Opal Essence Serum Primer from Beauty Blender. Plus an actual Beauty Blender. I believe this one has the ring. Love the ring. This was on sale for 10 bucks. This alone is 20 bucks. This is 24 So this is a $44 value, and I paid $10 for it. So I got two. Yes, I did. I could show you the serum, but I just, I, I don't have anything to play with it right now. And then I got another of the Dirty Talk Matte Lipstick from Il Macalage in the shade Bella. Because Bella's the bright red. Tell me that baby ain't gorgeous. So now I have two of Ariadna which is the deep rose, which is like a really nice neutral on me. And then two of Bella. And I think I only had, I think I did get one of the lighter neutral, which is like a deep beige, which is called Iliwa or something. So yeah. So that represents what's come from Ulta, which was one thing, just the lashes, and what came from Ipsy. But again, that wasn't the only thing in my mail yesterday. Let me get this thing up out the way. Because again, we had a hot fucking mess of a box and I opened it one way and it was only fluff. And then I looked at the bottom and yet again, if you look, everything in the bottom was all thrown in there. It was like the cushioning was on top, like an after the fact, like, oh shit. Uh, jackasses, bubble wrap. Like if you're going to use that much bubble wrap, you like form an envelope with it. But whatever, these motherfuckers, they be motherfucking. And yes, I am that, I'm that pissed off right now going to take it all out because it's pouring out anyway and throw this fucking box out but uh let me just take it out and show it to you before it finishes spilling out here and we can kind of work from there now shall we this is the one piece of bubble wrap they had at the bottom and as you can tell half of it is smashed flat smashed assholes but anyway so there was that and then there was this so let's start with a couple of these little things i've already pulled out here as what the fuck is in this box of... It's basically a box of bubble wrap with shit thrown on top. Because look at how much bubble wrap they just stuffed on the top. They didn't wrap anything individually. No, no, no. They threw it on top after they just, like, threw in a shitload of stuff with no bubble wrap on the underside. Thank fucking Christ, as I struggle with all this stuff. Bubble wrap! Throw that box over there. You're pissing me off. Okay, let's get down to business. Okay. Volition Beauty. Turmeric Brightening Polish. It is a face and body scrub. 120 milliliters, four fluid ounces. I received one of these in a boxy charm box, and I used it on my elbows, and I liked it. I'm going to try it on my face, but they had it. Buy one, get one free. They were eight bucks instead of $40 a piece. Bought them. I'm just going to drop the mic right there like that. Then they had the Frank Body brand, which is a nice brand. Anti-makeup cleansing oil and the anti-drama face mask. I already have one of these. I used it once and I liked it. I have to use it again. But now, now I also have their makeup cleansing oil, which is a grapeseed oil base, but it also has alpha hydroxy acid in it. I mean, not beta hydroxy acid, sorry. So that's like your salicylic acid. And it has vitamin E to brighten and hydrate. So 
Oh, and my current Yensa oil is done. This is the one I'm going to break out. And then there's this guy. So, again, when you get stuff like this, these can go in gift baskets for girlfriends. That's why you buy when they have the whole buy one, get one free. What else do we have here? Oh, the La Ruche. These are the... the Reusable cleansing circles to remove makeup, apply toners, serums, and face wash. Okay, so the white one is for removing makeup. The gray one is for toners and serums, it says. And the black is to wash your face. Honestly, they all have the same fluff and feel to them. And it's a nice little pouch. This was on sale for three bucks. I like La Roche as a brand for their brushes. These I didn't realize were so big, which they are giant. And they have a giant, like, foam circle inside. So I don't know. And they all feel identical. Oh, no, this one has a shorter nap. So, okay. But I wouldn't put liquid toner on something like this because it's just going to waste product and absorb in there. I use my liquid toner now just straight out in my hands or I spray it on my face. I'm just saying. I-G-S. But these are fun to be makeup removers and wash your face. So maybe they'll go in a gift bag. Maybe they'll be mine. Then what else did we get here? Okay. The brand Tint. T-Y-N-T. They have, other than the dual-sided eyeshadow, I mean, I'm sorry, mascara on one side, eyebrow gel on the other that I have that I enjoyed. They also make a tinted eye cream and concealer in one. And usually they're like 30-something bucks each. I got one of them once, or I was about to get one of them once in one shade. I think I did get them in one of the shades. And it was like eight bucks, but now they were doing two for $4.99 and they had all the shades. So I'm always a little off on what shade I am. So I got two in Latte and two in sand. So depending summer, winter, if I need to mix. Because also my mother's decided suddenly that she wants to do skincare at 71. Like, I'm starting to look wrinkled. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You're not listening to me. That's why. So this here, this was from The Word, Woke, Cool Steam Eye Mask. Intense hydration reduces dark circles and puffiness. Let's see how this puppy looks. I think he was like six bucks. So we have... Oh, we have a regular eye mask with an adjustable. It's nice and satiny, but then we've got three little inserts you put in. Oh, looky! Hot and cold gels, too! These, you either want them hot, microwave on low for 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure you don't exceed 15 seconds. A little glue there. Oh, they're nice for cold. So you get the one eye mask for the adjustable strap. You get the one hot cold gel set, which is those guys. And you get three heat cells if you want heat. But you could already do heat there. These steam, though. Oh, stop. Remove a pair of heat cells from the package and insert into eye mask sleeves. Patches will warm up within 30 seconds. Use immediately. Wear mask over closed eyes while warming commences. Relax for 10 to 15 minutes. Dispose of used heat cells. Eye masks can be eye masks can be reused as a regular sleep mask without inserting heat cells. So this is a great little set. This was nice. This was like $4.99. Why did I not buy a set to use as a, like, oh, tell me you popped and that you're gooing. No, they had goo on you to keep you in here. Or did you both pop? Oh, shit. Did you guys pop? Oh, please just be glue. Oh, please don't be popped. I'm not sure because there's something gooing in the box. See, I'm not sure now. Oh, I'm so worried. I have a worry. Oh, God. See? I get too deep in the weeds. Yeah, but that's basically all my mail. Now I have to sit here and wash these and see if it's them or the glue that they might or might not have only put there. For fuck's sake, man. I can't win. So this is this set. And for $4.99, she not bad, so long as she not popped. I'll put her back in her protective box. She might be a gift. And then the last thing I got was this set because I've been looking at this lipstick and I was on and off about it, which is called La Femme. She had 410 from Max Love Me Lipstick Line. However, I wasn't sure if it was something I was going to... Oh, oh, yeah. I'm not going to swatch it because right now, again, I have lipstick on. If you saw in my last video, I'm wearing my Frog Prince Heat Activated looks green and the pH balance comes out to your perfect pink very glossy it's basically tinted chapstick but it works and then I also got because instead of just buying it alone for five bucks or for four bucks I think and it was, got sold out while I was like sorting my cart still 
so that's that. But we also got a set of lashes from them. So the whole set was, I think, $4.99 instead. And which lashes are these? Opportunist number 87. Did I literally scratch my nail? Or is that goop from that other stuff? I think that's goop on my nail. So yeah, I mean, these are a little bit wilder than I usually... I don't know. I went through a phase where I wanted clusters, and then now I don't want clusters. So I'm, I'm always evolving in my lash world. But this shade, she's going to be hot. So that's my box. My box that I have to figure out what stays, what goes, what's right, what's wrong, and um, get everything taken care of. I would show you my fridge, but she's still in the box in the uh, living room when she comes up to here. She's a midi, M-I-D-I, like midsize. So she's not a regular, like, house fridge, but she's also bigger than any dorm fridge possible. And she's going to go in my basement. So that way, if Lazarus shits the bed again, I don't want to beg somebody to borrow their dorm fridge and then run and buy ice until then. Also, I'm on the fence about returning these. Clutch nails. Spider-Man designs. Very cute. But I didn't realize they weren't like the Kiss manicure ones where you just press them on. These require you to file down your nail bed a bit and then also apply glue, which I'm not sure I'm really feeling. Give me feedback on that. Like, have, I'm... I don't like nails like that. I've never used them like that. They just seem excessively much. Let me know what you think. Have you used them? Am I being too nervous, Nelly, old lady-like? I'd love the feedback and the advice if I should keep them or return them. I mean, they are a Marvel collab. They were 50% off when I got them at um, Target. So they were $5.99 instead of $11.99. But still, I can get that 6 bucks back on something that I'll actually use. I don't know, like my husband's Kramer. I mean... Because all my money goes to household things. Anything we need at Target, be it cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, food, it's out of my wallet because it comes out of my checking account, not his. Because that's how it used to be when I only had one checking account and I was a single girl. That was my everything account. So yeah. Anyway, you don't need to know my finances or lack thereof. I'm going to tell you again, happy Thanksgiving weekend if you celebrate. And if you don't and you're taking time for yourself this weekend, enjoy the weekend. Um, I know it's only Wednesday, but in the U.S., this is our Thanksgiving weekend, and it kicks off our winter holiday season for all things such as Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, winter solstice, Yule, all these things are now. They're coming. So yeah, that's another thing I have to do this weekend. Take down Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, and put up Christmas. So other than that, let me go finish trying to get ready for hosting my mother-in-law tomorrow, and we're hosting my mother on Saturday. So I got two celebrations to cook for and we're going to make it work. I'll let you know how I survive. Until then, I will catch you later. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, stay kind, and stay out of trouble because we all know that's my job. And again, peace out from B-Rex, the PR Goddess One and my wonderful channel. I hope you like it. Comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing and hitting notifications so you can get updates on when I post. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me some sort of emoji in my comments.